Just gonna make another quick video. Part of the seed seed starting videos I'm doing. I just did one showing how I pricked these plants out of a bed like this once they just started coming out of the, the surface so they didn't get too leggy and transplanted them into their own areas like this and bury them right up to their first cotyledon leaves, those first leaves. It's a good, strong, healthy start. But rather than trying to see them all individually like that, in case some don't take because they never all take, and being left with empty bins or having multiple per tray, I'll start them in a tray like this. I put a seed starting mix in here. This is a homemade one. You don't have to do this, but I formed this piece of foam like this. You could just shake it, pat it with your hands, get it level. I'll use this. Bring it across there a couple times, a few times. Both directions. Gives me a nice flat surface to start with. Then depending on what seed it is, I'm using tomatoes today. Tomatoes only want to be, those are charred. Tomatoes and peppers only want to be about an eighth of an inch deep. I'll get the seeds out and show you. The way it was explained to me, if you don't know, is the length, the long end of the seed, that one and a half to two times that depth is usually what a seed wants to be planted. There's differences though. This uh, New Zealand spinach wants to go an inch down. It's not that big of a seed. Back to this, I'll just take this tray, make small indentations, about an eighth of an inch deep, where I want those rows of seeds. Should add these seeds ready. Oh, just closed it. And we're looking for tomatoes. So we'll do peppers, we need peppers as well. Might be out of tomatoes. So this is a sweet pepper, corn di toro rosso. I'm sure, I butchered that. Seed depth one quarter inch. So I could make these slightly deeper. And I'll open that package. Make sure it's open real well. Create a small V in it. That allows me to tip those seeds out. Get them going in a row. And then vibrate them out of there like that. That way there's lots of seeds left. I can do this multiple times. That's given me probably 20 seeds to start with. I'll gently cover those. Pat that down gently. Label that row and start the next one. When I'm done, I'll gently water everything. So it's just that easy. Like I said, when I'm done, I'll have them like this. I've pricked most of these out of there already. I didn't get to this Mizuna and this herb salad, they're a little long. But if I had, was doing it, it's as simple as getting in there, loosening that soil up and pricking it out of there. And then I'll plant that right to its first couple of leaves in a new larger pot. Anyone new to seed starting gardening? 
Hope these videos are helping you. Please like and share. We call this Fat Ninja Farm. This is the greenhouse, this is an aquaponic greenhouse. I'm not gonna do the full tour, but just a quick look. This is our aquaponic greenhouse. It's where we can do our seed starts, plant starts, lettuces, beans, kale, we grew through the winter, peas. I was using these tilapia and the goldfish. Hi guys. I usually come up when I'm here looking for food. More starts over here. Some rosemary with curry cuttings I took this morning. And we'll end with just a quick look out at the yard. Just such a gorgeous day today. This is our half acre in the city. This is our annual garden up top here. Where we go greens and stuff we eat every day. Down here is long-term annuals mixed in with perennials. That's these tree crops and bushes and shrubs and berries, gooseberries. It's the chickens and ducks over there. Be kind to one another. Help one another through this. A better world's possible. Peace.